Dominic. We're going to take a look at all four strokes. We're going to have three different angles, uh, one from the top from the side, one underneath from the side, and then uh, also one head on, starting with your butterfly. First thing I see is really good body flow. I'd like to see you quicken up that second kick. As you see, as you you got good stretch and good glide, but that second kick is coming too late. That second kick is going to create that pow, that a lot more power that's going to come from um, that second kick. So you want to quicken up that second kick. That will allow yourself to get the hips over a little bit quicker. Allow you to have a little more flow with your butterfly. Uh, when I look at the the over the top, we can see yourself. You want to keep yourself low, which you're doing nicely, but you want to make sure you're pressing that chest down. The lower you press your chest, the higher the hips will rise, the more flow you, uh, you'll be able to create. Uh, looking at the underwater, uh, first thing I see is when you we want to make sure those hands are pressing back towards your feet. If you look at the front end of the stroke, you're pushing down on the water, actually pushing down and out. We want to make sure those hand, the palms of your hands to your forearms are facing back towards the bottom, towards your feet. So you're keeping a higher elbow, pressing yourself back. As you see, let's slow it down. You're going to press right now. You're pressing down on the water, and it's not until halfway through the stroke that you're actually pulling yourself uh, towards towards forward so you can get uh, the best you can. So get those hands uh, pitched towards your feet. Allow that forward motion. It'll have you let you... Uh, feel a lot more like you're swimming downhill and really pulling yourself through the water. This front end shot, what it really shows is that, that how well you can press that chest down. The deeper the chest, the higher the hips are going to rise, the more flow. We don't necessarily want to drive our hands down, but we want to drive that chest down. You have a pretty good looking butterfly. I would quicken up, the main thing is quicken up that, uh, that kick, that second kick, give yourself a little bit more uh, intensity as you go through. All right, let's take a look at your backstroke. Good. Allow yourself to, to rotate with the hips. Backstroke is, is led with the hip rotation, not necessarily your shoulder rotation. You want to get your head back a little bit. Uh, you want to, don't want to tuck that chin. You want to keep uh, lay back like you are. Um, the back of your head position should be like you're sleeping on a bed without a pillow. Um, keep a nice, relaxed neck, allowing yourself to have good alignment. The more alignment, the better you're going to have control of your rotation. As you see, you're reaching those hands back, which is causing the shoulders to turn, and your hips are following secondary. You want to lead with those hips. Let the, let the hips and shoulders rotate together. Uh, make sure you're kicking on your kick. As you see, it's kicking is a little bit low. Uh, make sure you're following through so your feet are finishing beyond your knees. Uh, good what we see here from underwater is you see that uh, big white bubbles that you go through. It's good vortex. You see that good circle, but you want to be make sure that you're rotating a little bit more, allowing those bubbles to dissipate so when you're pulling that you make sure that the palms of your hands, forearms are pressing back towards your feet and you're holding more water. This may slow your tempo down, uh, allowing you to, have to, to stretch your strokes a little bit. You are, are very tall and, and very long and you want to use that to your advantage. Really allow that good rotation to allow deeper catch, the deeper the water, the more power you're going to have on the, and hold you're going to have on the water. Um, and so if you look here is what we want to look at the shoulders and we see good rotation but we want to make sure those hips and shoulders rotate together. You see your shoulders are rotating well, but your hips are kind of falling behind. Uh, make sure that we're, we're leading with that rotation so you get a lot more power from the chest, the back, the abs, uh, and the hips to really uh, make sure you're getting the power from the right, uh, right areas. It's not necessarily just from your kick and your pull. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your breaststroke. Love the head position. Keeping that head down when, you, uh, when you, you're breathing is very key. Just keeping that low forward breaststroke. So we want to make sure we have a forward, forward breaststroke. The first forward coming from the kick. The second forward from a one-half breaststroke arm pull uh, to really allow yourself to, to flow through uh, much quicker. As you see, your elbows are coming back just a tad bit too far. You want to keep those... Elbows in front of the in front of the the chest, so you can hand get your hands through quicker. Uh, you want to extend yourself out and glide. You have good uh, timing there where your feet are. Where as your feet finish, you're starting that next stroke. Very good. Uh, good looking breaststroke from the top. Uh, again, we'll uh, we'll see more as we look here now at the underwater. 
as you see the elbows are coming back just a little far uh, you want to grab a little bit more one thing is you see when you get your kick you have a good technique of your kick but you but i'm not seeing the bottoms of your feet from this angle i should be able to see the bottoms of your feet so we need to turn those feet out as you turn your feet out you're going to grab more water so your upper body looks really good other than bringing your elbows back a little bit too far but we really want to have that big strong kick and so you want to turn those feet out a little bit more so i can see the bottoms of your feet you grab that water and press back uh, towards the other end of the pool pool that will allow a lot more forward motion allow a lot more glide um, the other thing I want to see with the, from this angle is more pressing of that chest. You see you're pushing straight out. I want that chest to go down. I want your hands being out in front, but allowing your chest to go down. This will ride the hips, give you more of a butterfly feel to it, allowing more flow. As we look at this front end shot, um, really want to see what we're looking for is that pressing of the chest. And, and again, you're kind of pushing straight out. We want to press that chest down while moving those hands straight out. This again... Uh, reiterates what I just said about getting more flow. Um, as you see, the elbows are coming back just a little bit too far. You want to be quick. Allow that to come through quickly. All right, good looking brush stroke. All right, finally, let's go ahead and take a look at your freestyle. What we're trying to look for here is that same thing as we looked at the backstroke, and that is your rotation. Uh, I love the open, the openness. I know that's something we worked on in camp is really allowing yourself to open up Use that length of yours. If you look at the best swimmers uh, right now out in, in the world, they have a much bigger open uh, stroke that's going to allow that control to come from those big muscles, your chest, your back, your abs, uh, your, your, uh, your uh, hips. You're going to allow yourself to rotate from the shoulders down to your hips, opening up that stroke, allowing you to get bigger, finish further back, enter further out in front, get big with each and every stroke. It allows you a lot more control, allows you a lot more um, ability to create more speed. As we look at the underwater, what we're going to look for here is, a, your, as you see here, you want to keep those hands and forearms pressing back. There's a slight elbow drop as, it, as uh, you pull back. You never want to see those elbows um, be beyond uh, the, the hands, and so we want to make sure that you're pressing back. So we're not pressing down on the water, we're pressing back towards the end of the pool. That will allow you to move a little bit. A little bit more rotation will allow a nice, cleaner, deeper catch, um, allow you to press back. As you look here, as you're finished with this stroke here, you're letting your hands, rather than pressing back all the way to your feet, all the way to the finish of the stroke, you tend to have that palms of your hands facing up towards the, the surface. What that does will allow you, won't allow you necessarily to get the most. Uh, in this front end shot, we want to make sure that we're getting good rotation. Uh, as you see, we can, you got a decent rotation. We want to see more of that. Uh, making sure those keep those elbows up again. The, this may slow your stroke rate down, which is fine. You have a very long, you very long arms, so you want to make sure that you're rather than how fast you get your hands through, you want to make sure you're holding on to more water. Hey, it was a pleasure working with you. Great looking strokes. Uh, take care.